So finally, I got an opportunity to draw my bow back, but I had to hold it back for what felt like forever. I didn't want to let the arrow fly then because he was staring straight at us. There was a pretty decent crosswind going through, and with that distance, man, if he jumped that arrow, I knew he was just going to be gone and I was going to miss my opportunity. So I waited and waited. This episode of DOD TV is brought to you by the specially designed, agile, and durable Tenzing Hang Time Lumbar Day Pack. Go further, hunt longer, Tenzing. Just met up with our outfitter, and he said that the fallow bucks have been croaking and going nonstop, so we are going to get packed up, but apparently we brought the rain with us, so. So we just got to the hunting area. It's like the heavens have parted because the sun is shining, the rain is gone, and no sooner did we pull up than TJ ran out and said that there are a field full of fallow bucks and red stag just kind of lazing up on the mountainside. We're really excited to get settled in and get a good night's rest. So we're up bright and early. It's day two, but our first morning hunt here, we're gonna cover a lot of ground across the property and just see what we come across. So we came across this gorgeous fallow buck. I mean, he was just an absolute bruiser. We're trying to call him in. We called for a bit and he ended up losing interest and in moving off. So I think we're gonna take a bit of a break. It's time for lunch, so we're gonna find a nice sunny spot up on the hill. So go figure. We get up to this open hillside with a few scattered bushes, and there are multiple stag roaring back and forth. So we got set up. This stag is coming into the call hot, like he is rearing to go, except he's kind of staying out of bow range and circling around. So he ended up going out of range but TJ was able to call him back. So finally, I got an opportunity to draw my bow back, but I had to hold it back for what felt like forever. I didn't want to let the arrow fly then because he was staring straight at us. There was a pretty decent crosswind going through, and with that distance, man, if he jumped that arrow, I knew he was just going to be gone and I was going to miss my opportunity. So I waited and waited. That was probably the most challenging shot I've ever made in my life. But when I saw that nocturnal go, I knew it was a perfect double lung shot. That's my first stag. Oh, you get anything? Thank you. I love you. This is my beautiful free range New Zealand red stag. Here with Metanoia Ventures and the challenge is real. And it was just such an incredible day. Amazing hunt. Our true shot at 46 yards and it all went according to plan. I just am absolutely elated. This was an absolute trip of a lifetime. I mean, Richard and I had a wonderful time doing this together. TJ was an amazing host. Honestly, he has become a lifelong friend now. Like, we can't wait to go hunt with him in the future and have him to Canada to hunt with us. DeerCast is giving you the chance to hunt with Mark and Terry Drury. Head over to DeerCast.com to enter. <laughs> We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by MOTV. For full episodes of Critical Mass and all of our outdoor channel content, head over to the MOTV app and view it today.